introduced a bipartisan bill that would require the Supreme Court to create a new code of conduct. That's according to our media partners at the Hill. And welcome back to Capitol Review. It comes after ProPublica revealed that Justice Clarence Thomas failed to disclose luxury tips he accepted. And joining us again is Sirakshi Rai. She is the deputy editor and the social media for our media partners at the Hill. And Sirakshi, let's talk about this new code of conduct. What are your thoughts? You know, two senators, Senators Angus King and Lisa Murkowski, have introduced a new bipartisan bill that will require the Supreme Court to create a new code of conduct for itself after a ProPublica report revealed that the conservative Justice Clarence Thomas failed to disclose luxury trips that he accepted from Texas billionaire Harlan Crow. You know, it has been the talk of the town uh, since this report came out, and this bill would require uh, the Supreme Court to implement a new code of conduct within one year of its enactment into law and publish its code on its website so it's available to the public. Uh, notably, you know, the Chief Justice John Roberts declined an invitation to testify before lawmakers about these concerns regarding uh, a lack of an ethics code of conduct for the Supreme Court justices. You know, instead, uh, the Chief Justice released a statement on ethics and principles and practices signed by all nine justices, which notes that they consult uh, a code for the lower courts right now. So it is a topic of conversation, and um, there's a lot of debates on this right now. You, you talked about the Chief Justice declining to testify. Does, does anything already exist for the Supreme Court as, as far as a, a code of conduct or an expectation? Well, there's no binding code of conduct, but their statement says that they consult various authorities to decide at their ethical dilemmas, uh, including a code in place for lower judges. You know, though watchdog groups, you know, argue that it's basically meaningless right now. Um, and you know, both Democrats and judicial watchdog groups are saying that it's past time for the code, court to adopt a binding code of ethics. Do you think it is important for the court, the highest court? to have some sort of a code of conduct in place moving forward? Well, you know, it's it, it's interesting because, you know, like I mentioned, Democrats and judicial watchdog groups say it is past time for the code uh, for the court to adopt a binding code of ethics. Uh, they argue that the Supreme Court is at least a, the least accountable part of the federal government right now. Uh, you know, and the Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski has joined the calls with fellow Democrats. But a lot of the Republicans in the in the Republican Party are portraying this as a push uh, you know, to smear the court's conservative majority. Uh, Senator Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor this week said that um, the, the statement by all nine justices kind of explained their joint approach to maintaining their high ethical standards. And he said that unlike activists and elected Democrats trying to tear them down, the justices have proven their sobriety and their judicial temperament over their long and distinguished careers. So there is this debate and this war waging between the Democrats and judicial groups and the Republicans on whether the Supreme Court should enact a, court, a, a code of ethics or not. Um, you know, right now, the Supreme Court justices, like other federal justices, are subjected to um, a federal recusal statute, which requires disqualification uh, where uh, their impartiality might be reasonably questioned. But, you know, the, the justices and the chief justice have said that they cannot be bound by the, all of the rules that apply to the lower court because of the unique role that the Constitution assigns uh, you know, to the Supreme Court as the ultimate decision maker in the nation's judiciary. So it is a complicated uh, debate that's going on right now. Sir Roxy Rye, thank you so very much for your time.